Hi guys, Barnaby here once again for Spurred On and another edition of Tottenham Transfer Talk with my man Tom Edwards from The Telegraph. How are you, Tom? Very well, thank you. Tom, this is your debut on the sofa in the new set. What do you think? Uh, yes, it's great, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. Yeah, Soft, it's, Chesterfield, it's like that. It's a sofa. It's a yeah, sofa. That's good exactly sofa. Good is. quality. But more importantly, there's some transfer gossip to get on with. We're going to start with, uh, and I have to give a disclaimer here, uh, whilst filming, it looks very much like Bobby Soldado is on his way, literally, in a plane to Spain, potentially to Villarreal, we think, uh, because Eric Lamella sent a tweet this morning that was hastily deleted saying, we're going to miss you. He did indeed, yeah. And those two were quite sort of pally all the time. Yeah, they they were. were together at Spurs, weren't they? Lots I of Instagram found that quite romance. Quite strange uh, friendship because there's about you know eight nine years between them. Yeah, well they speak the same language, don't they? And I think they were both kind of struggling to settle. Neither of them were playing particularly yeah. well. Lamella was injured for a long time, so obviously he had a lot of spare time on his hands. If only they'd spoken the same language on the pitch. Ah, yeah. I couldn't couldn't stop myself from getting That's that one. That's very in. good. Well done. Uh, so what kind of money do you think we're talking about for Soldado uh, to Villarreal? Well, knowing Daniel Levy, there'll be sort of add-ons and stuff, I should think. But um, it looks to be about 12 million, I think. Okay. Um, so, presu I mean, really what we want is for him to go over there and do really well. Um, and then the, uh, the sort whole of, yeah, money counter in the deal. We'll, exactly, yeah, then, we'll, then we'll kind of we'll get more get money for him. And that would be 12 million that it looks like we're spending on Clinton and Jai from Lyon. Now, he as well has been spotted at the airport today. I should say, for the benefit of this... We are filming on Thursday, so if these deals have already gone through, we're not being completely mad and not knowing what's going on. It's just that's when this is being filmed. So Clinton and Jai, he was spotted at the airport coming to London this morning. Uh, Leon player, looks quick, uh, silly haircut, which will suit Lamella down to the ground. Uh, kind of player you think could do well at Spurs? Absolutely, yes. Um, I mean, the reason they're getting him in clearly is for pace. Mm -hmm. We were sorely lacking in pace against Manchester United. I think mm -hmm. everyone can kind of agree on that. So, um, yeah, he looks very good. He's obviously been playing with uh, Lacazette at his current club and he's been making lots of goals for him, lots of assists. I'm assuming um, we just can't afford Lacazette or he'd rather go to a... Well, they don't, they don't, they don't want to sell him. Um, and so I think to kind of balance the books, they're selling their next best player, hopefully, which is uh, Njai. Njai? Njai? Nobody's sure quite Nobody's yet. Sure. Uh, um, but once a song is made for him, then I'm sure we'll all decide yes, based on that, won't we? Yes. Um, uh, but yeah, no, he looks very good. He scored some good goals. Looks like raw talent, doesn't he? It, it, it's kind of a, another great example of Levy's uh, going back to his original policy of buying players with sell-on value who could become you know, yes. uh, top top players yes, rather than yeah. being top players. When he's you young. Want. And he's, he, he is quite expensive for a, for a player of his age. I mean, they're talking... I mean, you'll probably know by the time this goes out, but they're talking about around uh, 10 million, I think, mm -hmm. which is a lot, but it's potential and he does look very good. And hopefully Poch can kind of... Uh, you know, kind of build him up in his own in his own image and kind of get him playing the pressing game and, uh, yeah. and make some goals for Harry Kane. I do think it just shows, though, uh, the difference between buying from abroad and buying from England because a, a player of a similar age, uh, a similar type of player who can play in the three behind, talking Saido Berahino, they're West Brom trying to get 25 million from us. Now, there have been rumours, haven't there, of a Federico Fazio a swap deal involving Berahino, potentially all West Brom just being interested in Fazio as well. Yes, yeah. Um, I mean, we clearly want Berahino. It, it sounds a lot to me like we're nowhere near their asking price. Mm. It sounds like there's a kind of 10 million gap between what they want and the what Levy we're prepared 10 to. Million, we the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the standard Levy 10 million gap. He wants that 10 million when we're selling, but when he's buying, when we're buying, he's uh, un unable to spend. Yeah, it. and and there is there is interest in Fazio from uh, West Brom, so I mean perhaps he might be able to make up some of that some yeah. of that difference. But I can't imagine him going for that much. He hasn't been very very good for us, I don't think. Um, he's he's a defender in uh, the Tony Pulis mould, I'd say. Though, isn't yeah, he? A big yeah. Like, likes to punch people. I mean, what we tend to find, I think, with defenders is he yeah, <laughs> likes to punch people. Um, what we tend to find is that they uh, they may be good defenders, they may be good uh, in their own sort of 18-yard box, mm. but they may not necessarily be great at playing the high line that, that Poch is fond of. Yeah. And I think Fazio has kind of been a victim of that. He's, he's good yeah. in the air, he's a big guy, but he has been shown up a few times. We definitely don't need to go back into the fact that how bizarre it was to sell Dawson, who was slow and presumably couldn't play the high line because he had everything else. And then by Fazio, who was slow and couldn't defend the high line. It was yeah, a bizarre, except bizarre he just the, the one thing he didn't have was that kind of uh, Tottenham loyalty, well, like like exactly. Mickey Dawson had. So yeah, was that a, was a shame. It was a shame. Um, but let's blame uh, let's blame Fran Franco Baldini. Let's blame him. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, one more thing before we end part one. Uh, we talked about Berahino. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Charlie Austin because we're we're kind of thinking that potentially we might go. We're going to buy one or the other, or try yes. to buy one or the other. It's likely to be one or the other. I think. Um, 
so you know, where where would your loyalties lay in terms of preference for Charlie Austin or Cider Berahino? Uh, well, I mean, there's, there's there's good arguments for both of them. I think um, Berahino obviously both had good seasons, but Charlie Austin played in fewer games and scored more goals. Mm -hmm. He's also better in the air, so I think Berahino would be a better foil for Harry Kane because mm -hmm. he offers something that Kane doesn't. But he's not very good in the air. So if we're looking, I mean, that's not the only reason. But if we're looking for someone to step in if there's potential, potential injuries to Kane. I think Austin's probably um, a better option. He's older, um, but cheaper. So, I mean, I think it's th th there's well, not that much in it, but they do. turned down £12 million from Leicester for Austin earlier in the window, and I thought that was an incredible amount of money to turn down. Yeah, uh, because you would think QPR would be a much more willing uh, selling club than West Brom well, because they, they don't, you know, they don't have as much money. They're not playing in the league. I so. personally think that if they leave it open till the deadline day, they're not going to get anywhere near twelve million for him. I'd be surprised if he went for upwards of ten. To be honest, I think Berahino will be our first choice, and then if we can't come to a deal yeah. um, on the price, then we'll go for Charlie Austin. And I don't think that would be a bad thing. I think Charlie Austin, Austin could do really well for us. Okay, I think you might be right, guys. Let us know what you think uh, in the comment section below. Do you agree with what Tom's saying? Who would you prefer, uh, Charlie Austin or Berahino? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and. Uh, uh, follow us uh, on Twitter, but also this is just the end of part one, so go into part two where we will be talking about potential transfers out from Tottenham in the remaining time of the transfer window. We'll see you in part two. Hi guys, I'm Craig Vai and this is Spurverts for Spurred on TV. You know how this works. I'm not usually in it though, but I am today. <laughs>